All right, so um, it's been requested that I post a video on how to use while loops to calculate the factorial of a number. Um, just to remind you guys, remember that factorial goes like this. 5 factorial is equal to 5 times um, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Um, you know, 3 factorial is just the same thing as 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, they're very much useful, you know, in probability when you guys are doing the permutations and the combinations. I don't know if this is kind of, you know, reminding you guys of when you've used factorial before. Um, and so what we have to look at here is that we've got this number and we know that 5 factorial is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So um, we have to see a pattern here where we see something decrementing or we see it incrementing, right? Whichever way you want to look at it. We know that we have to do some sort of count from 5 to 1 or 1 through 5. So let's go ahead and just set up our while loop to be able to do that. Um, so I'm going to go and start at 1 and I'll end up at a 5. So while x is less than 6. So again, all I'm doing right now is I'm trying to be able to count from 1 through 5 at the minimum. So now I've got x is equal to x plus 1 so again increment x so the hardest part of this would be how do we figure out this idea um, of you know being able to multiply the current value with the previous value or the previous value with the newer value etc etc so essentially at the end of the day we have to be able to multiply 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 we know that this code will get us from 1 to 5 so now we just need a new variable to track of the product and so this is going to hold 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 um, and so essentially here the way I'm going to update product is that I'm going to take the product and multiply it by whatever value x is currently multiply product by x so if you guys are following this by hand um, what we can do is actually track the values of you know x product and product so we'll just do it like that all right so the first line through we know that x is equal to one and product is equal to one um, as soon as product and when we hit this code here we're gonna do um, product is equal to product times x and so that becomes 1 times 1 and then what we're going to do here is we're going to increment x of course by adding 1 to it so then these become uh, x is now 2 product is still 1 Alright, so now we go back here. So remember, this is a while loop, so it's going to keep happening until this condition is false. So we just finished incrementing x. We go back up the code and we check the condition. Is x still less than 6? It is. x is currently at 2 until we're going to continue with the code again. We're going to go product is equal to product times x. Alright, whatever current value of product is, which is x. We multiply by, I mean, sorry, which is 1. We multiply by x, which is now at 2. And then for x, what we do is we increment that by 1. Um, and so now we end up with the values 2. And then, of course, x is now at 3. Um, so x is now at 3 because we've incremented it here. Product is now 2 because we multiplied it here. Um, and then we go back up here to check the condition for the while statement. Is x less than 6? It still is. x is currently at 3. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the product by x. The current value of product is now at 2. So now we're going to multiply by x, which is 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to x. Because again, we're incrementing. That's the next line of code. So I update the product and then I update my x all right so now product is at six x is now at four i go up here is x still blah da da 
of course it is and I keep going so on and so forth up until the point where you know x is now 5 do, do, do. this is now 9 and then oh this should be multiplying eh? not adding now 24 times 5 and then I'm going to increment x again but this time around x is now going to be 6 uh, and then product is now going to you know equal 24 times 5 all right so there ha there you have it 24 times 5 again if we break down all of this down here this was a result of having 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and then yeah at the end of this your product will now contain the factorial of the number 5 so again what I've done here is I looked at this I you know we talked about what it means to calculate the factorial of a number by head um, it's just that and then from there you go alright well I can see where I could use a while loop here to decrement this so that it's counting from 5 to 1 or the same thing as counting from 1 to 5 um, so we set up our while loop which is back here while x is less than 6 and then our starting condition was that x was at 1 of course you can start at 5 and then go all the way up down to 1 um, this time we went from 1 and then ended at 5 and we incremented here the other you know the only harder the hardest part I guess would be to keep track of this thing called product which is you know keeping track of the intermediate values as you are multiplying these so it's going to keep track of that product and then it's going to keep track of that product times this and then it's going to keep track of this product of this times that etc etc so this is always keeping track of our intermediate calculations that intermediate calculation being 1 times 2 and then that result times 3 and then that result times 4 and then that result times 5 and so that's why you need this right here um, it's very similar to how you guys did this sum. Thanks.